Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Friday. God has blessed us to make it through that Monday through Friday work week, school week, and the weekend is here. And by the grace of God, we are here. It is May the 3rd. Um, very little traffic this morning. All week, I've been like number 16 in line to get on the bus. Today, I was number four or five. Beloved, God is so good. Um, I shared with you all a few weeks ago, sometime a sister just need $5. Well, I had uh, two $1 bills and 12 quarters. And I had put a post up um, before leaving home. I just simply said, okay, God. Jesus, um, I have $5 to get to work. Please make a way for me to get home from work. Step onto the bus. The driver says, the machine isn't working. Take a seat. God is amazing. Okay, so he blessed me with the $5 today. And then um, I did not need it this morning. Guess what, y'all? He made a way for me to get home, and I haven't even started work yet. I give God the glory. Now, uh, Big Daddy, he should be home in a few days, so I guess a sister be all right then. Amen. So um, here we are today, Proverbs 3. So again, Solomon is giving instruction to his son, and you notice how it really climaxes. Um, he starts off, this is the reason for the Proverbs, son, just listen, and the further we get into the book, we'll find that the deeper he goes, right? So right now, it's just a, you know, little something, something, but he's encouraging his son again, forget not my law. And let your heart keep my commandments. He's letting his son know, I'm giving you instruction. Don't forget it. You know, I look different every day. Every day, every day I look different. Okay. But then he's saying also, don't forget the law. And then the commandments that you are given, keep them close to your heart. And he tells his son, when you do this, length of days and long life and peace shall be added. Some might say, mm, there are those who die young. There are those who don't have long days. How do you explain that? And they could be, you know, keeping the law and holding close to the commandments. We love from the day we come. The date that we leave, it's already set. Now, that's God's business. Here, Solomon is saying, but when you use wisdom, because wisdom, it adds to. Wisdom never takes away from. So when adding to your days, there would be a length of days added, long life, and then peace. Beloved, in the midst of the storm, we can have peace. And you can have that peace, how? When you exhibit wisdom. If everyone else around you is practicing foolery and you practice wisdom, beloved, don't you know you can have peace in the midst of all of that? And you look at others and they foolishness and you sleep well at night. And I believe this same Proverbs, it also says, and your sleep shall be sweet. Beloved, when we use wisdom, we can lay down and go to sleep and don't have to worry about a thing. It says that he would add peace as well. We can have peace in the midst of this. Do I look like a dude this morning? Oh, the more I look at me, I'm looking like junior and or booby. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the hair. I don't know. Then it says that favor. Hmm. Well, you'll get some favor and good consideration in the sight of God and of man. Beloved, when we use wisdom, when we learn and when we follow the rules, that does give us favor. Solomon is letting his son know, not only in the sight of God, but in the sight of man. Who can't use a little favor in the sight of man? Who can't use a little favor in the sight of the coworker or the landlord or the butcher? 
that butcher might give you a thicker cut of meat or put an extra piece of bacon in there and charge. Okay, I'm sorry. Solomon goes on to say to his son, don't be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and depart from evil. See, the word of God also lets us know um, that oftentimes in our own eyes, we're right. Oftentimes we are right. Remember that saying, you're just a legend, yeah, in your own mind. Here Solomon is saying, don't be wise in your own eyes. Don't be conceited, but fear the Lord. And when we fear the Lord, we'll do what? We'll depart from evil. I may be doing wrong today. As I continue to fear the Lord, as I continue to grow in wisdom, little by little, God is going to do what? He's going to work all that stuff out. He's going to work it out because the closer I get to the Lord, then the more I come to realize I can't keep living willy nilly. I don't know where I got that phrase from, but the closer that we get to the Lord, then we got to start dropping some stuff off. That stuff is going to fall off. That foolishness. Why? Because we can't walk to the Lord and then keep acting a fool at some point that we got to get right. It says, despise not chastening of the Lord and don't be weary of his correction. Remember your parent used to say, this going to hurt me as much as it hurts you? Yeah, right. Then don't whoop me. Don't despise chastening. Um, don't despise the Lord's correction. The word of God lets us know that God, he chases those that he loves. If he did not care for us, if a parent did not care for their child, they wouldn't care what they did. Mama would never tell her sons, boy, put your pants up. If she didn't care anything about them. Even if he don't ever listen, she going to tell him, pull them pants up. Here he's saying, you know what? When we do wrong, we got correction coming. Whether we did wrong ignorantly because we just didn't know any better or we did wrong because we just wanted to do wrong. There's correction or chastening that's going to come. And we had, was it one of the Psalms? Was it David who said, Lord, let my uh, sentence come from you? Don't let it come from man. So when God chastens us, when God corrects us, we know it is just. Remember that song kind of from the 70s? I'm glad, you know, man didn't make me because one day he tried to forsake me. I'm glad man didn't make sunshine because he'd forget to let it shine on me. I'm glad man didn't give life to me because one day he tried to destroy me. Oh, but I'm glad, glad, glad. I'm glad God made me. Here, this is what Solomon is saying. He's like, don't despise the Lord's chastening because when the chastening or correction comes from God, you know it's right. It's not overkill. I think one of my favorite in this chapter, it says, um, wisdom, she's good and she's pleasant. And, and Solomon speaks of wisdom as a her, as a woman. She's good and she's pleasant. It's a good thing to use wisdom because she ain't going to hurt you. But then one of my favorites, don't tell the people come back tomorrow and you got it right there now today. Here Solomon is saying, when it's in the power of your hands to do good, do good do good. When you can do good, do good. He goes on to say, someone come, your neighbor comes, needs a little something, and you say, okay, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you. And you have it right there. Don't tell the neighbor to come back. Or you want to bless someone and it's like, okay, I'm just going to wait. I'll wait. I don't have time right now. Beloved, he said, when you have the opportunity to do good, do good then. You never know if that opportunity is going to come again. We never know if that's going to pass us by. We think we have tomorrow, but we don't know that we have tomorrow. Beloved, we serve a risen Savior, and that risen Savior, he's a soon-coming king, and he's coming back. And we are living in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back and we've got to be ready. Okay, some may say, yeah, but we got time. He ain't coming right now. Because the Bible say all this stuff going to be happening, but still the end is not yet. Yeah, but we don't know when he coming for us. 
Now, his return, are you ready for Jehovah's return? His return, it may be eons into the future. What we don't know is that, nor do we know when he's coming for us. So, beloved, just in case that opportunity does not pass, doesn't come in your way again, Solomon is saying, when you can do good, son, do good. Family, when you can do good, do good. Don't say, come tomorrow, okay, I know you want some sugar, but look, I'm in the bed. And I'm not finna get up right now and come to the door. So I tell you what, come back tomorrow. You ain't baking a cake till tomorrow. I'll give you the sugar tomorrow. No, get your behind up out that bed and get him that sugar if you got sugar to give. You know what I'm about to say. Let me get off this phone. Get me a little breakfast in. Get my things upstairs. Come back downstairs. Go outside. Get my walk on. Get back upstairs. Render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on tomorrow from my front seat. This your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.